I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book There's just so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone, Stephanie here. Today's video is my June TBR. This month I have books that I want to read, books that I need to read, and then I'm also going to be a part of the Read-O-Rama Read-A-Thon, Marathon, Read-A-Thon thingy-majingy, which is from the 13th to the 18th. 19th it's from the 13th to the 19th this month so I'm definitely going to do a part of that be a part of that and I'll put my TBR for the readathon the day it starts so I don't know if these books will be included but these are the ones I want to read outside of the readathon I don't think it's going to all happen but I just choose you know so first I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way the books that I need to read for review the first one is Frayed by Kara Terzis I requested it from that galley it got approved the book comes out June 7th and it's about a girl whose sister was murdered and she goes to a therapist and her therapist thinks it's a good idea for her to write to her sister the thing is is she will stop at nothing to find her murder her sister's murder and her murder and the thing is is she'll wish she hadn't I didn't continue reading the summary after that because I don't like to know I never like to read too much into summaries they give away too many details sometimes so that's the first one I like need to review the second one I need to review is and I darken by Kirsten White everyone was talking about it everyone was saying how it's a lot like Game of Thrones and Khaleesi no I'm not caught up don't tell me shit down below I'll handle you but um so I saw that and I was like yes I need that in my life and I requested it through that galley thank god I got it from I was just like please please I'm nobody but I need it and I got it and I'm so excited so that comes out June 28th I'm not good I'll probably read it closer to when it's due so that way I can do my review and put it up the day it comes out the last one I will be reading for review this month is Genesis Girl by Jennifer Bardsley I got her last name right. I am uh, reviewing this because of BookTube Tours. I am a BookTube Tours host. If you guys don't know what BookTube Tours is, it's uh, Love and Them Books, Grace, and she like contacts and like people get together and like we review books. And I'll leave all of those links down below. And it's just about a girl, uh, Blanca, who has lived a very sheltered life. And in the school that she's been to, that she's been in I don't even know like I've been I've been trying to film this video a million times so however this comes out is how it's coming out but it's about a girl named Blanca who is lived in a very sheltered life she's lived a very sheltered life and she went to a school where they protected her from being online and when she graduates her and others like her who've never been online never left this weird footprint in the world where they can just like find her they are sold to the highest bidder for their personal gain and she gets sold to I think the guy's name is Cal McNeil ah Cal McNeil and they want her for like their personal like motives and stuff like that but when they find out the McNeils that she's actually extremely obedient and uh not very defiant they're they're kind of horrified by like how like chill this bitch is you know like you're not doing anything so her only way for escape is to go online so it sounds really amazing and I'm super freaking excited to read it super excited to read it you already know so those are the books I'll be reading this month for review Obviously, I review every book I read unless there's just absolutely nothing I can think of to talk about. And uh, other than that, the books I'll be reading for pleasure is Finishing Thirst book number one, which is actually the first three books by Christopher Pike. It has The Last Vampire, Black Blood, and Red Dice. And then, depending on how things go, I may or may not read Thirst book two this month, which has Phantom, Evil Thirst, and Creatures of Forever. Because I'm gonna want to keep reading it and I already know I need to buy the last three books because there's five bind ups in total so that's 15 books in total uh, the other one that I would really like to read for pleasure this month is An Ember in the Ashes it's about a slave and it's about a soldier it's dual point of view I know there's romance but the sequel is coming out later this year and I just need to read this already and you know it's basta to here I would also 
really like to read Sky Key by James Frey and Nils Johnson Shelton. This is a sequel to The Calling, book one, and the Endgame trilogy. I don't know why I'm talking weird. Uh, the last book comes out this year, and I already need to read this, but I'm kind of also don't want to read it like right, right now. Like, <sighs> the struggle. Oh my god, and Zero Line Chronicles comes out this month. You already know I'm going to be on top of that. Uh, and then the last two books for pleasure that I would like to get to this month, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get to the first one, is Red Queen and Glass Crown. I have been wanting to read this book for a very long time. They never have it at Walmart. Honestly, every time I've gone to a, a store where there's books, they just never have it, and it's one of those things where, like, I'd rather just buy it there because it's quite still pricey online. So, uh, it's so funny because my cousin came over and, like, I haven't seen her since she was a baby. So, like, now she's grown. Like, she's grown. Like, it's so weird that she's so big. But she was reading Glass Sword and she was asking me and we were talking about books. And I was like, no, every time I go to the store, they never have it. That night, me and my mom were like, okay, let's go to Walmart. I feel like walking around. Well, they always have this one. They had this one. So I went ahead and I bought both of them. And I think they're gorgeous. I feel like I'm going to like it. I'm also just really intrigued to see how uh, similar or unsimilar it is to Serna. I don't know why. I, there's some things about this that scream red rising to me. So I just want to see what it's about. A lot of people say it's tropey. But you know what? I don't mind a trope so long as it's done well. And you guys already know I've read a lot of books. But because I don't read a lot of one specific thing other than I read a lot of paranormal which we can all understand that and since this isn't paranormal maybe I won't mind the trope so much because I haven't read a whole lot of series that are super popular that this would probably be based off so I think I might be safe I don't know so I hope you guys you know what books are you guys reading this month are there any book releases that you're super excited about that are coming out this month because you know I know there's like a bunch of books but I'm never on top of any of that crap I just know the ones that I know and I need Zero Line Chronicles, like I need to buy that. <sighs> Maybe Target will have it so I don't have to order it online and I can just pick it up because then I might read that instead of Sky Key, kind of like I'm putting off Sky Key because I hear it gets really, really, really good in that one. So those are all the books, but I hope you guys have a great reading month and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!